Oh, my notepad pad is all messed up. Oh, and I have headphones on. <laughs> That's not good. Hey, what's going on everybody? Craig here from Video Juice. We are back here with episode 12 of Supernatural. On the last episode of Supernatural, Dean tried to leave everyone and give himself a box. Uh, he created a box which he seemingly got the plans for from death and it will trap all the entities inside and keep them inside. And his plan is to go out into the middle of the ocean and throw himself off. That was the gist. <laughs> uh, no, there, there was there was a lot of really good interactions. We got to see Dean basically saying goodbye to a lot of people. Um, he didn't tell Sam because he knew Sam was the only one that could talk him out of it. We had some one-on-ones with him and Mary, and we got the conclusion. Well, not the conclusion. The conclusion to the to the current Nick storyline, you know, like to the to where we are at the moment. Like I feel like the next step for that storyline is Lucifer coming back, if he is going to come back. But he got teased, so I don't see why they would. Um, I don't see why they would tease it, and not bring him back. You know, so I feel like that's the next step for for Nick's storyline. So it might just be shelved for now. Um, but we found out that Mary was the one that fought Abraxas and she kicked the shit out of him and then he kicked the shit out of her and then she locked him in a box and then Nick took him out of a box and shanked him. So, R.I.P. Abraxas. R.I.P. Abraxas. <laughs> um, that's the gist. I did want to say, because I was thinking about it in the when I was editing my previous video, I was talking about the book last time and what could the book have in it. Billy said that all of the books have changed and they all say the same thing except for this one so my interpretation of that was that this was a way in which he didn't die or in, in which he did die but it was a one where michael is not in control or michael is not destroying the world um or i was thinking and this is what i wanted this is why i brought all this up all of this up i was thinking that maybe maybe just maybe the books held the plan to the box you know, because he was like, what am I meant to do with this? And she's like, you figured out. Maybe he was meant to build it. Or, uh, but that's a bit more far-fetched because we know that the books hold possible ways for Dean to die. Dean to die. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to see what was in it. But I could have held the plans. Could have held the plans. Um, also, someone in the comments said to get 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 caught up so that we can react to the new season. Uh, I am doing my best. I just got engaged. I have a child on the way uh, very soon. Uh, and I'm working. So this is just... I'm, Putting out as much as I can at the moment. I'm still trying to do as much as possible, trying to get three a week. Um, though we will be caught up. I will be doing some of fifth. I'll, I'll be doing most of fifteen live. Like once I get through um, these episodes, there's only one episode of fifteen out. I'm gonna get one done now. I'm probably gonna get another two done this week. So hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, I'm I'm excited and I want to see the new season and I want to finish this season. So let's check out the new episode. Oh, what? Have they thrown him in already? No fucking way. Ah, oh, that was a dream. Oh hey, bad dream. Oh. Oh, is he gonna got her? Oh, he's. Oh. Okay. <laughs> that was a. Uh... That was weird. We're going straight back to Nick. Oh shit! Okay, sunshine, soup's on. Didn't expect this. And Cass and Jack, you haven't even told them. Okay, well, yeah, that's because I'm not good with the whole big goodbyes. All right. I, oh. I, I get shaky on this thing. Yeah, Maybe I didn't even thing. tell them. Oh. Sam. Yes. Were you able to talk him out of it? No. So I'm counting on you. Oh, he told. Cass. You last. I've, I've looked for any possible way. If we don't find some way, Dean's gone. Oh. Cass could get maybe a little bit through to him. I don't know. He seems set on it. <clears throat> Is this the same guy? Is he just constantly doing this? Firstborn in the land of Egypt. Is it a ritual? That was a bad cut. He just. Oh wait. Oh, when I cut him a minute ago, he still had the knife up. <laughs> I think you knew that. 
Man, I left that behind a long time ago. I had to. Not <clears throat> have conversations that sound like deathbed apologies. I would really appreciate it. <laughs> Oh! Fuck! Oh. Bum leg? Or was it his other leg? <laughs> no, it's that one. <laughs> Seems okay to me. Jesus. Surely he's not the only cop on watch there, right? He can't just walk out. Nope. <laughs> I think he can. <laughs> Nokian. Nokian, yeah. Yeah. Oh. FBI. We're here to talk. Do we still have a prophet? Could this be a new prophet? I'm only going on this because the episode is called Prophet and Loss. And prophet was spelled as prophet. Losing him is like losing a part of myself. I never knew it could be this bad. Oh. Cub said you really was connected to. Uh, I, I like what they're doing with that. Yeah. <laughs> Brothers being separated. That graffiti carved in them. Dean, it's so good to hear from you. Oh, okay. Well, um, good. Uh, <laughs> yes, uh, Sam and I work in this case. So I assume that means you're not going through with it. Because I have to say, Dean, this plan of yours, it was born of, of desperation, not reason. <laughs> oh, <laughs> busted. I know that I'm not supposed to know what I know. Antonio Alvarez is, is next in line to be prophet when Donatello dies. Oh. Yeah, but before one reveals itself, the previous one has to die. So does that mean Donatello's dead? No. <laughs> Dr. Rashad. That's all word of God and... There's some the English in there, I saw. Contribution. Brimstone. Slaughter of firstborn sons. Oh. The drowning of Egyptians in the Red Sea. But... <laughs> Gonna light him on fire, is he? Fuck. What do you mean, what? I'll give you anything. I think he wants you to oh. die, bro. <laughs> Let me go. Shoot. Bang. Oh. Tony Alvarez, right? Who are you? <laughs> You're the Winchester's you bitch. You can't do this. Cold. Something's happening. Oh. 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 What? Is between life and death. Could someone? Perhaps the next prophet was activated before his time. That went all Hannibal. Could someone be been upset. communicating them? Has created a prophet who's. You know how. Oh man, <laughs> I'm still so shocked that the Nick storyline is continuing, in a good way. Oh, it's his old house. Nick? Oh. Is that you? Yes, Nick. Is it? Lucifer. Sarah. Oh, it's his wife. Your wife. Oh, it's her spirit. Oh, <laughs> Sarah, you're free. You can leave. And what about Lucifer? What about him? Oh. My unfinished business. He wants revenge for him. Just about how he died, Nick. Reject Lucifer right now. If you do, I can <clears> leave. <throat> I can find peace. Oh, he's not gonna do it. Reject him, Nick. Please. Please. I can't. I'm sorry. You can't. Nick! 
Oh. You're making the right Fuck, choice. man, that's... Your uncle's in a persistent vegetative state. It's being kept that's horrible. by machinery. You think this is easy on me? It has to be done. So then, this is goodbye? Guys, check this out. I don't like any of this. Yeah, so a couple of days ago, Donatello started making some, uh, trying to organize his, his memories, the words of God. So that's what Tony was picking up on. Well, then I, I can fix him. Wait, how? I thought he was too far gone. Dean, if there's a spark, oh, a hope, then I have to try. Could we get Donatello back? Well, what exactly are you looking for? Oh, that. Oh. Donatello. <laughs> oh, I thought his soul was gone though. Turn off these machines. Hey, welcome back, champ. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Get him his glasses. Oh man. I never thought no, that we would see Donatello again. It's a miracle. <laughs> Actually, I'd prefer a bucket of extra crispy buffalo wings with a side of Tex-Mex sauce. Yeah, he would. Okay. Take it easy, cowboy. <laughs> Just got back. He, he doesn't have a soul. Hmm. No, nobody's perfect. <laughs> Guys, that way, family. We're the guys who saved the world. We don't just check out of it. Yes. I believe in us, Dean. <clears throat> I believe in us. Hey, hey, hey. Oh. Oh, man. What do you believe in us, too? I wasn't ready for this. <laughs> Let's go home. Don't hit me again, okay? <laughs> Don't hit me again. <sighs> oh. I wasn't ready for that ending. <laughs> I really wasn't. Oh, I didn't expect the ending of that <laughs> episode to get so emotional that got me, man. Um, so I was completely wrong with Nick. I <laughs> was full on sure that he was that his story was going to get shelved now that he was arrested. Um, and I thought that his he, his story would kick back in with Lucifer coming back. Apparently, it did not, <laughs> which I'm happy about. I thought all the Nick stuff. This episode um, was great. It was really good. It, it, the, the death with the cop surprised me. <laughs> it just came out of nowhere. <laughs> and I was half expecting them to try something anyway, but it just all happened so fast. I wasn't expecting it. Um, it was good. It was good. And the bit at the end with his wife. At, at, for a second, I was thinking like maybe it's not his wife. Maybe it was Lucifer testing him to see if he was still committed and see if he still was on board with Lucifer. Still broken, basically. Um, but seeing Nick choose Lucifer and basically create a vengeful spirit. Uh, down the line, obviously, but he basically created... Um, he basically created a monster. <laughs> uh, it's heartbreaking. Heartbreaking. We got no Jack this episode. I love that... I love that Ka uh, Jack... Or, sorry, I love that Sam told... Cass, <laughs> you know, it, it makes sense. I was saying, like, why, why, why are they keeping um keeping Cass out of the loop? Cass is someone who Dean has been close with in the past, and that it, it, it considers a brother, and it's another person to try and talk him out of it. You know, I like that. Um, I like that. I like how everything flowed. You know, I like that we got. Like there was a lot of parallels in the episode. They weren't really subtle. I would have liked a little more subtlety with them, but they were. Um, I liked, I liked the message it was getting across. 
you know, with the the it started with with the the guy and he was talking about losing his brother and everything. Later on, you had the stuff with Donatello, you know, and leaving him die and stuff. I like I I liked I liked the message that they that they got across, you know, but um, the acting as well. This episode was just phenomenal. It was really good between especially with Jared and um, and Jensen. Especially the end scene. I'm going to get to the end scene in a minute. I'm trying to keep it uh, for a minute. So the, the 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 first episode or the, f- the first episode, the first few moments of the episode, I full on thought they were doing a time jump. I I, I I I the first second I was like, okay, we're doing a dream, and then I was like, fuck, what if they do just jump ahead and have him in there? You know, <laughs> I thought it it'd just be completely um, unexpected. Um, but yeah, no, it was a dream sequence. It got me. <laughs> it got me. It um, and in that moment, then yeah, I was thinking like, I, cause, cause, it was Dean shouting in there, and I was like, fuck, what if Michael left him as he was going into the box, or as they were closing the box, or before they got sealed in, and it's just Dean down there. That'd be scary shit. That'd be scary shit. Um, but no, it was just it was all just a dream. <laughs> That was um, it was a great way to open the episode. The bit with um, I love I like I love having Cass back. We need more Cass in the show again. I want more Cass and the two boys. Um, the bit where they were where they were going into Donny and <laughs> they were they were doctor doctor <laughs> got me a I can't remember what season it was. It gave me vibes of the the was it the trickster episode when they were going through was it with Doctor Sexy <laughs> doctor doctor. <laughs> Is good, so good. I didn't expect to get Donny back. The line with the line with with Dean with the the no soul thing was funny. Ah, nobody's perfect. <laughs> uh, cut back to season six when Sam had no soul, and then have Dean say that again. Bet you he wouldn't. <laughs> um, so I I honestly I think I already said it like a second ago, but I didn't expect Donny back on this show at all. It's really really cool to have him back, even if he has no soul. I wonder how they're going to deal with that. Although they could just keep him in check, but I had a mad theory that it was before it was before the reveal that it was Donnie corrupting the other potential prophets. But I was thinking, what if someone um what if it's what if it was someone communicating with them and trying to tell them something, you know? Um, I was thinking off the top of my head, Lucifer first trying to corrupt him or something, but that doesn't make sense because he is potentially still in the empty. You know, I don't I don't really know where he is at the moment. But what if it still could be someone, right? Because they were saying specific stuff. They were talking about the firstborn striking down the firstborn. What if it's something, this is completely off the walls theory now, but what if it's something to do with killing Michael? I don't know who would have the power to communicate with them is the only thing. And to send that message down. And I, I don't know. Like Michael is just an archangel, so there is still ways to kill him. There's You can't really kill him with the archangel blade though because we have no archangels left. Gabe is gone. We have Odd Michael in the cage. Not Odd Michael. OG Michael is in the cage. He's potentially the only... Well, if Lucifer comes back, we have Lucifer. So there's options there. But... Because, actually... He slit his throat. What if that was them trying to get grace out of him? You know, what if he's acting out? What if the, the, the guys doing it were acting out what you needed to do? But then you have the, 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 the person drowning in the, the salt and blood... Sea? Was that what it said? Sea? Or water? Or something? I don't know. I don't know. I could see something there. I could see something there with, with, with... But who would do it, you know? I don't know who would have the power to do it or who would have the knowledge to do it and who would want to help take him down. I don't know. I don't know. I said I'd say it just because... I feel like there's a reason they brought Donnie back. There's a reason they brought Donatello back. <laughs> you know, he's here now. He could... What if he's still getting this stuff? Like, can... He gets messages, doesn't he? 
don't know. I'm not going to, I'm not going to harp on it, but, um, I'm going to say it's a possibility. So, the end of the episode, it's been a while since Supernatural has really got me and made me tear up. That was it. <laughs> that was it. Man. Sam, Sam hitting him and then Dean going in for the hug. Oh, oh man, I just, it, it was too much. It was too much. It was, um, it's good. It, 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 it kind of, it goes back to the, the, was it the start of the episode or near the start of the episode with Dean talking about how he wasn't there for Sammy as a child and and wanting to be better and stuff. And instead of hitting him back or anything, he just goes in for the hug. You know, it's, um, it's heartbreaking. I love that for now, he was actually talked down. He said it. He said Sam was the one who could do it and he did it, you know. And it makes sense. It makes sense. You look back at, like, say, season five, for instance, when Sam was willing to go in the cage to stop Lucifer like think about how many stuff how much they've accomplished since then how many world ending situations they've stopped since then how many times they've saved each other since then it makes sense that they would try for a little bit longer you know they 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 have more knowledge they have more skills they have a plethora of of information at their hands with the the men of letter stuff and we have cast there it makes sense that they would keep trying you know um try until until you literally have no option left they still have options left, you know. Michael is there, but he's still just trapped in Dean. I still don't know why they don't just take some of his grace and depower him, but I won't get into that again. Um, yeah. Someone told me it's the 300th episode next episode. That's crazy. Like, I thought... So I, I, knew, I knew next episode was the 300th episode going into this because a friend of mine is up to date with Supernatural and he told me give me a heads up that it was the 300th episode I thought that they were going to set something up in it um, something big or something but I don't know I don't know if there's any information about it yeah I'm not going to I'm going to go in blind I'm not going to look at anything um, but I hope to do something spectacular <laughs> it's going to be interesting um, so I don't know what they're going to do now I, I was full on sure and they still could but I was full on sure that they were they created the box which in my opinion meant they were going to use it usually when they create something like this they're going to use it in some capacity so like we could have see my, my initial thought was what if somebody gets michael into them and then does it like someone does the sacrifice instead of dean I, I don't know how they would get michael out of that unless they find some like oh we figured out a way to get michael out of him through some old spell or something that's the only way i could see that going down because of the fact that Michael has no reason to leave Dean. If he gets out of the mind prison thing that he's in, he has no reason to leave Dean because it's his true vessel and he's most powerful in that. So I don't know. I still feel like the box is going to get used in some capacity. Um, but how and when, I don't know now. But I'm glad. It's I'm glad. I'm glad the way everything went down. This was a really good episode. The cinematography and everything this episode was spot on as well. You know, I've loved the last few episodes in a row have just been incredible, every single one of them. Um, hopefully it continues because I'm 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 full on I'm full in there. You know, it, it took him a while to get to, for the story. I think the story was just a bit jumbled at the start of the season, and it took him it took him a little bit while to straighten it up. You know, um, but this is uh, shaping up to be a really good season, and I just love seeing. I love seeing the result of the 15 years or whatever of supernatural that of, of the show that these that the boys have gone through you know we've seen the growth like if this had happened back in season six or seven they probably wouldn't have ended this way you know they probably would have gotten into a fight and pummeled the fight faces off each other you know um but it's great to see it's great to see an episode that showcases so much character growth you know um i love it I love it, I love it, I love it. And I will continue to love it into the next episode. So thank you very much for watching. We will be back in a few days with a new episode of Supernatural. Again, I apologize for the, the not, there's not even delays. I'm just apologize for not being up to date. I said I would get up to date and I am going to get up to date, but it's going to take a little bit longer. Um, lots going on, lots going on, but we will be there eventually. Thank you again. 
I said thank you already. Thank you again. <laughs> uh, you can like, comment, and subscribe. If you liked the video, let us know what you thought about this episode in the comments below. We have some social media links and a website address down below in the description as well. You can check them out, and we will see you next time. Later. So we can ride away upon a tumbling wave.